Hello there, my beautiful bacon hairs. On this video, I want to show you how you can solo the new Steampunk Sewers dungeon for Dungeon Quest on Roblox. And by the way, if you can look like this in a game, you know the game is good. I mean, seriously, look at that. It's so adorable. Anyway, so, if you're playing on the Insane Difficulty, pretty much you want to be able to take two hits from the bosses. So, on the Insane Difficulty, I recommend probably having about 1.2, 1.3 uh, million health. And then on the higher difficulty, Nightmare, I would recommend probably having 1.6, 1.8 million health. Just pretty much you want to be able to take two hits from the boss and still survive it. So as far as spells-wise goes, I mean, I would always recommend... I'll only go ahead and equip my armor, my real armor. Um, as far as spell-wise goes, I always recommend speed, honestly. I don't see why you wouldn't want to do speed um, every time. So um, I would recommend taking your two fast spells, whatever you have, if you have them from Steampunk, then of course that'd be great. If not, you may have to go with the two, you know, two smites or two um, mighty leaps. But I definitely recommend two speed spells. And uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do this solo on the bosses. I'm right, going to equip my uh, weapons here and let's get started. Please don't look at my armor. I, I, don't, I know my helmet doesn't match my armor, but you know what? Sometimes you have to just accept the hand-me-downs until you get what you want. I got a decent weapon, though, so I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, so this is a quicker dungeon. It's only 9 minutes you have to beat this one, instead of the 12 minutes or whatever the other dungeons are, a little bit more. So, in a way, it's kind of good because you can do a lot more grinding on this thing and get a lot more, a lot more uh, chances at uh, loot drops. I am playing on a little higher difficulty than I probably can handle just because I want to show the mechanics longer so usually I can beat this by myself with my damage currently um, just like like on the last minute but if not I just need to upgrade my weapon and I'll be better here but I just want to show the mechanics here so alright let's get started so right to start here um, I used to pull these two groups together to the right but it doesn't seem like it's a very good idea because these things are kind of slow so by the time that they get over there, it, it doesn't matter. So I just like to kill this group separately. So I do like this 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 uh, mage spell better than the the mighty spell because um, I guess it depends on what you're fighting. If you're fighting uh, these en small enemies, then the mage seems to be better this time around. But if you're fighting the bosses, the uh, physical seems better because you can leave your 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 um, ring around the boss and then you can leave and get into a safe spot. Whereas these you know these two groups, of course, you want to pull together. I like to try and pull these two archers sets close enough to where you can hit them at both times at the same time. So I'll try and get them close together and then you can start, you know, damaging them all together. And then you're already at the first boss after this group here, so... But yeah, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to always go speed spells, honestly, because the damage is very similar to the um, other spells and, uh, of course, you're fast, too. Alright, so right when you get in here, you're gonna, they're going to drop random rings on the ground that are going to get larger. So just stay away from the rings, of course, as they get bigger, as you can see. And then once you uh, stay on the right side of the boss, because he's going to start doing the spin attack. So you can stay away to be super safe until he's done with the three three passes, and then go back to the middle. And then after this, after he does that, he's going to start throwing these green pools under random people. So I like to just circle around the boss. If you're with another group, obviously stay away from each other. And then he's going to repeat. He's going to do those those random circles on the ground that are going to get bigger. So just keep an eye out and just try and get away from them. As you can see, it took 900, 900 uh, thousand damage from that. So, um, so you probably want, like I said, 1.8 million, so you can survive two hits from the boss. Um, some, it, two million would ultimately be the best. But, um, but yeah. So anyway, hopefully I won't get hit again. I, I'm not I'm not playing on hardcore just because um, I'm not sure this is going to be the perfect run or not. But now I'm going to wait for the circles again. Sometimes it's random, you know. I mean, it, it just really depends where they... Sometimes they put you in a lose-lose situation. Like, same with these rings back here. Sometimes they'll put them so close together that you have to get hit. So that's why it's good to have at least get two hits. You can take two hits from the boss. All right, I'm going to circle around again because he's going to throw these underneath our feet. And then he's dead. All right, not too bad. All right, the next group. Now, of course, pull these two together because you can. Um, these are archers over here, so I'm going to... I don't know about other platforms, but I play on Xbox One, and the uh, the new arrow spell, the speed spell for for the the uh, warrior, really really drops frame rates. So I don't know if it's just Xbox or if it's all their other consoles too, or I mean other platforms. But kind of disappointing. I'm hoping they're going to fix that. All right, now this one, if you're if you're speed, I like to pull these two groups together. So I'll just try and hit two spells on these before I move to the next group, and then I'm gonna move down here. 
and then I'll try and once again I'll try and pull these archers together. So try and try and go into the middle here more so that they'll kind of walk this way over here, and just keep trying to circle around. Of course, it can be a little dangerous um, for your healer um, when you're uh, when you're doing this because there's a lot of arrow arrow paths are crossing each other. But if you feel comfortable, I think it's better to pull the two groups together. All right. The next boss, once again, is the hardest boss. Um, it's not the last, but the second boss, just like the previous dungeon, um, which I'll show you how I like to do it. I like to pull these two groups together, so I'll cast two spells on them, and then I'll walk down here, and then I'll, I'll pull these guys, and I'll, I'll stay along one side of the wall, and uh, the archers will miss me because they can't. They only shoot down the middle more. Then wait till these guys come closer to me, and they just keep circling around in this little pathway. It's a little hard to see sometimes, but it is faster to kill them together. Because those guys downstairs are very fast, so they'll catch up with you. Alright, now I'm going to heal myself up for this next boss, so that I can hopefully show it off and not get hit at all. Um, Alright, so of course if you're physical damage, then just, uh, just keep one weapon or one armor piece maxed out. So you can always switch to that piece of armor and you can heal yourself full, you know, full health and then you can switch back to your normal damage. Alright, so once you go in, one person's going to get... Uh, this circle underneath them. So of course I'm by myself. It's always going to be me. Um, so now th now he's going to there's going to be lines coming from the front and lines coming from the right. All right. So once he does this, you want to back away from him. And my my recommendation is always keep an eye on that circle. Once that circle is done, like this circle right here. Once that circle is done, so always keep your eye on it. Once that circle is done, you know he's is going to throw it underneath someone's feet. So get ready to move. That's one of the secrets to it. All right. So now I'm going to back away from the boss again. Circle disappeared, so the circle's gonna come underneath my feet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for that. And I'm gonna go towards the boss again and keep my eye on that circle. All right, now it's gonna be back again, so I need to move. All right, so pretty much you have like one, one or one or two seconds, probably one second, for once that circle disappears, and then it's gonna go underneath someone's foot. So just get ready to move once that circle's gone. So I keep my eye on that circle. Get ready for the lines up front. Okay, that's gonna be underneath my feet again, and then now watch from the left, and then back away from the boss again. Now that circle's going to be under the feet again. Um, it's always better to play it safe. Like if you need to uh, stay far back from the boss, you may not get the full damage phase, but you know it's better than to die, especially on hardcore. So I'm keeping an eye on that circle. It's ready to, it's to happen again. All right, it's going to move. I'm getting ready to move. All right, there we go. Now I'm back away from the boss. Once that circle disappears, I like to kind of move my way forward so that it doesn't trap me back behind it. Move towards the boss again. Keep your eye on that circle. And then there he's going to be underneath my feet again. Move. All right. It can be a little close sometimes, but as long as you keep your eye on that and you get the timing down. All right, it's gonna be my feet again. I need. I might get hit there. Okay, that was close. Sometimes they put you in lose-lose situation, but I already got hit, so I need to be careful. All right, some circles and meet my feet. Gotta move. All right, get ready to dodge these two, and then back away from the boss now. And probably should be one more phase, and then we're fine. I want to play it super fa safe here because um, I don't want to get hit now at this point because I'm almost. All right, there. Circle again. Keep your eye on the circle. And get ready to dodge these two circles, these two lines, and he's dead. All right, that is the hardest boss for sure. It's a little bit easier when you have more people in the room because obviously you're you're not always gonna be the person that gets the circle. But um, as long as you just prepare for it, to, that it's gonna be underneath your feet every time, um, and always keep your eye on that circle. Then those lines that come from the front and from the left. Oh my goodness, am I gonna hit here? Okay, no. Um, the lines that come from the front and the left won't be that hard because they're always a set pattern. They're easy enough to dodge. Also, another thing, um, that star that he puts underneath your feet, um, it doesn't always hit you. It's only when it flashes. So you can always move through those lines if you're careful when it's not when it's not flashing so you can actually get out of it. But I recommend just staying away from it personally all the time. Alright, here's the last boss. I should have enough time to kill him. I'm going to go ahead and heal myself really quick because why not? Um, sometimes I do get hit here. Now this one can be a little bit more random. That's one negative about this boss because his first phase, where he, where he casts those lines in front of him and then behind him, can put you in lose-lose situations where you have to get hit. So we'll see here. I like to stay away from him just in case. Like right there, he he put put some pretty bad lines. Okay, once he does the lines, he needs to put that circle underneath somebody. So get ready to move. Um, and then after that circle phase, he puts uh, these cogs down. He needs to stand behind him. So what I like to do is, um, I like to uh, 
Um, just stay away from him when he casts these lines, just to be safe, if you're playing by yourself especially. And then get ready to move when he when he's done with the lines, because he's going to throw this underneath them. And then after that, I like to I like to look behind me the whole time so I know which one's the closest one, because if you don't go to the closest one, you can sometimes get hit. Um, and it's impossible to dodge. So get ready to dodge the lines, get, stay further back. Just to be safe, I'm going to stay back. And then get ready to run away from this circle below your feet. Still hitting the boss the whole time. And then look behind you, try and find the nearest one, and then get behind it. Because if I went to the left one, I, I probably wouldn't have had enough time to get there, to, to get to it in time without getting hit once, so... Like sometimes, like I said, he'll he'll put these lines underneath your feet and you cannot dodge them. Um, it's it's rare when you, when you stand further away, but um, it can happen, so... it's not, These cogs aren't always in the same spot either. It can be random as far as the location. Sometimes you can hit the boss too from behind the cog with this with the circle as well. So I'm going to stand back again, get ready to dodge this. Okay, now move towards the boss, dodge this circle below my feet. And then get ready to dodge the stars that come out of it. You have some time before it. And then get get ready for the cog. <coughs> the cog has actually been in the same spot every time, which is which I, is rare, honestly. It doesn't always happen that way. And there you go. I could have played on hardcore, actually. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's my health is not the greatest, so that's why I didn't want to do hardcore. But um, it is it is possible to solo this. It's just the second boss if you... um. The secret is keeping your eye on that on that circle to know when when it's when he's going to cast another circle because that circle can put you in a as I like to say a lose lose situation you have to dodge it so so yeah that's my favorite way to uh, solo this new dungeon um I think it's a very unique dungeon they they've been actually doing a good job on on releasing these and making them interesting every time different different mechanics different uh, bosses different uh, all that so so yeah I hope that was helpful to you and uh, thanks a lot for watching.